With over a billion people expected to enter the crypto market by 2030, the biggest problem holding back mass adoption currently is interoperability, being able to work across different layer one blockchains. And I've been spending hundreds of hours recently doing research into new layer one cryptos that make interoperability seamless. And there really aren't many projects doing this. They're all working on bridges and being able to swap cross chain, but very few projects are working at their core level interoperability. So today's video, I want to talk about a project that I've come across recently. They already have over $6.5 million committed for their private sale. And the project is called Layer 1X. So as you can see from their website, Layer 1X currently has private sale commitments of $6.5 million with the goal of getting up to $10 million. It's very simple to go about actually uh, getting whitelisted for this private sale. All you need to do is click buy 1X. You enter your email address. You put in a few details. But the key thing about this project is that it hasn't even launched yet and they have $6.5 million worth of commitments. A few things that stand out about this project, in my opinion, are how it's trying to tackle the number one problem in the crypto space, which is this interoperability working across uh, blockchains. You can see that to solve this problem, Layer 1X has a few key things they're trying to do. The first of which is that they've developed a decentralized interoperability, a technology that enables EVM and non-EVM blockchains to communicate without the need for centralized intermediaries. And that is where a lot of blockchains struggle right now. They have to work via either bridges or they have to work um, in alternative ways to be able to collaborate and for developers to be able to work cross chains. So this is going to completely transform the entire blockchain space. I've talked about another one of these projects as of recently, but Layer 1X is another one that I'm going to be adding to my portfolio. With decentralized in an interoperability, up until now, it has only been done so, like I said, through bridges and uh, third-party applications. So you need to rely on a centralized application, which is a key point of failure, as we have seen over the last few years. We don't want to have to rely on a decentralized on a centralized application for working cross chains. So with Layer 1X, what they are ultimately doing is they are solving four of the biggest problems. They're solving interoperability, decentralization, scalability, and security. And ultimately, they're aiming to connect chains that represent over 80% of all the TVL in the crypto space, including some of the most popular ones like Ethereum, Binance, AVAX, Matic, Phantom, um, and many more. They're going to be adding Solana very soon as well. And this opens up the the ability for developers to access multiple different chains, simplifying the process for dApps to be able to, you know, use different chains, utilize different uh features of different blockchains. And this is something that's going to be very, very important. A few key features about Layer 1X is that they have a goal of reaching 100,000 transactions per second with under 500 milliseconds for blockchain creation. This is ultimately going to be a key aspect for scalability long term. As you can see, with over a billion people expected to enter crypto, it is absolutely necessary, absolutely crucial for there to be a scalable blockchain that is able to work cross chain. And the third thing is is going to be with next generation of decentralized applications. Currently, with uh, with decentralized applications, it is not easy to work cross chain. If a if a blockchain fails, for example, and projects want to move off of that blockchain, it's not so easy to do. We've seen with Solana with many outages over the last few months and over the last few years, many projects have decided to leave Solana's blockchain. It's not so easy just to go about saying, "Oh, I want to switch over to Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain or Cardano." It's not so easy. But with Layer One X, they're ultimately trying to create a a next step for decentralized application development for the future of it. And ultimately, they already have a number of big projects building on it from Wide to HealthLink to Erex to NFT Marketplace and BEX Finance. So they have a number of different projects that have received grants from their $5 million in total grants they're giving out. And they have more projects expected to launch on it very, very soon. You can see with their platform right now, their website, like I said, that $6.5 million in committed private sales, so ultimately meaning that these people have said they are interested in buying the crypto when it does launch. And the thing with that is that you could see that they get in at a much lower price. When you click on buy L1X, you can see that for private sale, they have two key dates. There's going to be the first, which is going to be the private sale. 
at that private sale, you're going to be able to get in at a price of around 10 cents per coin versus 50 cents per coin when you are waiting to later sales. This is a key, key thing because if you are interested in getting a part of this blockchain, it really takes no effort other than um, signing up to be whitelisted right now. So they're doing that until they reach their $10 million mark. In addition to this, when you look at it, they already have a number of different partners, like I said, and projects building on their L1 blockchain from wide to L1 DEX to HealthLink. Last few things with this project is going to be that with Layer 1X, there's a few key things that stand out. When you look at their um, current investor deck, you click right here, you can see their investor deck. You can see that with this, they have a few main goals in addition to just solving interoperability. You can see that they are trying to make uh, crypto truly decentralized. And ultimately, what they want to do is they want to make it so all these different blockchains can work together seamlessly, like I said. Long term, what I see for crypto is that we don't know if it's going to be Ethereum or Cardano or Binance Smart Chain or if it's going to be what layer one blockchain is going to win. But the thing that is absolutely essential is is interoperability. And that is exactly what um, L1X solves. So just keep an eye out on this project moving forward. They do currently have that private sale going on. And like I said, um, if you get in now, you get whitelisted. They do have a couple of key benefits, um, which you can see right here. You can get in at 10 cents per coin in this private token sale. But if you wait to their public token sale, it's going to be at 50 cents per coin. So definitely worth checking out this project. You can see all the details of their tokenomics and some key aspects of their roadmap. Currently, they're in, you know, January, February, March of 2023. So Q1 of 2023. They have their plans of having their main net public token sale in July of 2023. So definitely worth checking this project out now, getting involved early before we start seeing some of these major developments, major rollouts, and more people get involved. So let me know your thoughts, but I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.